Hey, what's up guys? It's Lindsay from the Danny in Real Life videos. I am doing my first video by myself because I've been getting a lot of questions about um, how I do my hair. So today I'm gonna show everybody how to get some Florida Beach Babe curls. Some loose beachiness. First up, you need some things. Number one. You need a brush. This is my brush. It's kind of gross because it's got all my hair hanging out of it. I have super crazy hair. It dreads, so I got this little dready brush. Um, this is awesome if you have hair that like gets tangled or if you have kids. I remember my mom when I was a kid, I would be like, wee, 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 wee. So this would be like the best way to be able to brush their hair. You need a bobby pin or two. Depends on how thick your hair is. And one hair thing. And last but not least, the most important part, you need a wand. My wand um, was like 20 bucks, I think, and it goes up to over 400 degrees, which is important. It's not circular like a, like a roller. Um, it's more flat, so it does uh, like beach waves. All right, so step one, we're gonna blow dry my hair. Uh, I'd say I blow dry my hair pretty, pretty normally, like a, like what a normal person would do, I think. You know, just flip your head over, blow dry. Okay, so I fully blow dried my hair, and you can definitely tell that this is the part in the process where my hair does not look like it does in pictures at this point. Doesn't do that naturally. What we're gonna do is just take it, and um, I part mine down the middle, because I don't have like a really good natural part, so I part it down the middle, and I do um, the right side of my head first, I'm not really sure why. And I start at the very bottom, with just like a chunk of hair, maybe like an inch thick, um, from what I can see in the mirror. And then I pin this part up on my head, so that I have um, kind of the ability to use both hands. And I take the wand, I put it behind the piece of hair, and then I just twist it around down to the end. Be careful, I burn my fingers the first, I don't know, 50 times, and I still do every once in a while. So watch your fingers. Uh, I hold it there for a little bit. My hair holds up pretty well to the heat. I can leave it on the barrel for sometimes up to like 15 to 20 seconds, depending how thick it is. Definitely start with a lower time. <laughs> start with a small time. Do it for like five or six seconds. See how your hair looks. If you want it to be a little tighter curl, um, try it again. You can always do it again for a little bit longer. Did y'all see that girl that's on YouTube and she did it and she did it for 20 seconds and it burned a piece of her hair off and she was just looking at it like, ah, and it's all on camera. <laughs> that's really what you don't wanna do. So that's the first piece. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple other pieces so you can see, and then I'll uh, show you the final product. Hey, get out of my shot. Hi. <laughs> when you start out, it's a little funky looking, but I swear it gets better. Like it'll start falling down and look better. <laughs> don't get freaked out if it looks like you have like Shirley Temple curls at first. Do y'all know who Shirley Temple is? <laughs> So we're finished with um, curling everything and getting the wand in there. So next thing you do is let it fall out a little. <laughs> Not bad. It's a little crazy at first, but it falls out and it looks nice and beachy and natural and it only takes what, 10 minutes? It's awesome. That's uh, my little instructional on how I get my hair to look like this. I hope it's helpful to you guys. If you want me to do some more, start sending me stuff, send me ideas. I'm on Twitter, twitter.com slash Lindsay Bell. You can send it to my Instagram if you want to. I read those comments, instagram.com slash Lindsay Bell Bell, or just um, comment on here. All right, nice seeing you guys. Talk to you soon.